Hello everyone and welcome to the start of season two with York City in this FC twenty or in this FC in this FM twenty three series here on the channels. We are in the Vanarama National League still, unfortunately for us. Um, but as far as because uh, we just barely finished outside the playoff rankings there between uh, second and seventh place, but I will say this: I think we are in a great spot. Looking at where we finished last year, I think uh, we pretty much overachieved. I think this year we can definitely make that, that top seven spot. Uh, that would be great to see for us. As uh, It's funny that we ended up the year against Knotts County. And uh, wouldn't you know it, starting this year, we are playing Knotts County to open up the season. Uh, we are at home, though, so that's nice. A nice little home opener to kick off the year. Uh, you know, as far as for the team... It is, you know, the lineup will be looking a whole lot different. There will be a lot of new faces, which we will go through right now. As uh, far as tactically, we're still going to do this 2-4-2. Two, two. I think it did really well. Uh, really, just defensively, we kind of struggled there towards um, some parts of, the, of our game. But mostly, I would say we played really, really well. Just this National League is just super, super tough. So as far as for the new people in the starting lineup, we'll start with Joe Cook here. As uh, unfortunately, Carl Hawkins was snatched up by Fleetwood, and uh, we, you know, he just basically was like, "All right, I'm definitely getting the fuck out of here." Uh, so we really had no say in the matter, but uh, we did get a nice little price tag for him. Now, I want to say it was 40, 40 grand, somewhere around there. Might have been a little bit more actually, but uh, yeah, I mean, Joe Cook comes in at you know, 24. He's got Pretty solid heading, pretty solid tackling. His marking, yeah, both his marking and passing wise, as far as he's not really that great. Pretty good decision maker. Uh, solid determination, which we kind of would like to see in the defender. So that way they'll, they'll go out there and really put it all down, you know, that and, and like bravery and anticipation, like all that stuff. It's hard work too, which is nice. But uh, yeah, but with no vision and terrible passing. Really hope he does not get involved with a lot of the uh, passing as far as that's going to be tough. But hopefully, you know, it is what it is. I think he should play just fine beside Maxim because, you know, Maxim's the man. But this man in Idris. Oh, my God. I don't even want to try. Od Oduteo? I don't think that's probably not how you pronounce it, but I'm just going to give it a shot. <laughs> but Idris is definitely our best signing of the transfer window so far. Uh, we probably will not sign anybody else, though, to be honest. So I will safely say that this man is the best signing of uh, the 2023-2024 season. Great dribbling, great passing, solid aggressively as far as he can tackle pretty well. He's a hard worker again. He's got all the physical stuff. Young, too, 20 years old. Solid, absolutely solid, because obviously the one thing that we've always struggled with is our wingbacks slash fullbacks, and, uh, yeah, we definitely need to improve that, and I felt like Idris fits that mold perfectly, Ollie Dyson's getting the nod for the first game, so that should be exciting to see how he does, uh, we're also, you know, Dan Bibas and uh, Nia Kirby are back in the midfield, Mazir, of course, the man who led, oh, I would, yeah, he did lead the National League in assists, I was thinking he, he just led the team, but no, I, I'm pretty sure he led the National League in assists, which is super awesome, obviously we're gonna have him be a winger, and then on the inverted winger side, a new signing in Remy Lungden, who uh, could really do it all. You know, he could play in the uh, in the forward position, he can play on the winger position, can kind of really do it all. Uh, he can cross, he can, uh, he's got a good first touch, he's pretty good at finishing, he can kind of, you know, he's a jack of all trades type of guy. And uh, as far as his best position, is actually probably the right side winger. But, obviously, Mazir is way better, so we're going to have him be on the left side. Unfortunately, he's not a uh, three-and-a-half star or even four star on the left side here. But what's funny is, for some odd reason, he is a winger that uh, you know, mainly is on the right side. But he's great on the right foot, but terrible on the left. So I figured, why don't we have him be an inverted winger, so that way he can put the shot on goal facing a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper at this direction. Hopefully that works out, you know, as far as for him. And then the target forwards. Another big signing, though, in Sam Dalby from Wrexham. My God, six foot four, 
12 inch. Solid 10 inch. It's got great jumping reach. Because, unfortunately, you see, we don't have John Lewis anymore because he's injured. John Lewis got hurt during the preseason and he's out for 7 to 10 months. So he's basically out for the year. Sucks. Sucks, 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 but he is 34. He is getting up there in age. He's definitely probably not going to be the same John Lewis when he comes back. Because he'll probably be, you know, he'll be 35. And after coming off a terrible injury like that, I would say his career is probably done for. Unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, Sam Dalby, I think, is going to fill that role perfectly. And maybe even better than what uh, John Lewis did. Which is pretty impressive since John Lewis had 25 goals. I think he has a great, great chance of doing really great things for us. It's just crazy that he won the lead Wrexham. That is why we got him. Uh, we got him at a... I want to say we ch the transfer deal was like 60 million. Or 60 million. 60K. And, uh, you know, which is a pretty solid because he's already worth a little bit more than more than that than, than what we paid for. So that's a nice sign. Uh, so that's great. But... Uh, as far as what we have, as far as on the bench, that's uh, somebody new. Matt Worthington is somebody that is new. He is uh, kind of a, you know, again, a guy that can kind of play everywhere. He can play in the midfield. He can play as a fullback or a wingback, whether it's the right side or left side. I want to say he's usually better on the right side. Yeah, about two and a half on the right. I don't think he's anything on the left. Yeah. Uh, Sam Ling would definitely be starting. He was one of our new signings, but he also got hurt during... As far as uh, preseason, he had a sports hernia. He's out for about two to three weeks, so he'll luckily be back relatively soon. Uh, Sam Ling, we'll take a look at his stats here, because he is, uh, he's, I, I mean, what I'm super impressed with is he's actually a super great long throw, which we never really capitalize on, but that's definitely, like, something that we could definitely use. I mean, that's a, a kind of hidden weapon that we could use as far as if we could have some great set pieces off the long throw, if he's able to long throw it for, like, a heading opportunity for, like, Sam Dalby or Manny Duku, like, that's awesome. Or even just throw it in to Mazir or Longton, have them cross it in to the forwards. It'd be great. Uh, but his tackling's pretty solid. His marking's good. Like, he's really good at, like, a lot of different things. I think he's going to be uh, quite the hand for us. That's what uh, we're hoping for the most. We also have Elliot Neville, or Elliot Neville, Elliot Nevitt. Rather, as uh, as far as another forward, just to add some depth, great finishing, great heading, pretty good jumping reach. Like, he just kind of fits the mold of what we do. Because I just felt like that was kind of our problem last year, was we didn't have enough depth. And, you know, we made some signings. A lot of them were free signings. A couple of guys we spent some money on, but not a whole lot. You know, we still have a lot of money left over, too, which is pretty interesting. Because usually, uh, I'm used to just kind of budgeting on a uh, budget <laughs> as uh, just trying to spend as less money as I can when we're down here, because we were the least, we had the least amount of funds, and we did the least amount of funding with our team last year, I don't know how we're going to rank this year, because we spent a, a pretty good penny on a lot of these guys, like we have Ethan Ross now full-time, we have nobody really on a loan coming in, uh, we're, we're just kind of killing it right now, and uh, uh, Pike, as far as another four, but I can also play on the right side, as far as he's pretty good at heading pretty good at kind of everything not terribly great at everything but just kind of decent at everything type of just feel like as a backup that's kind of what can uh, do you know as far as that's a, a great kind of quality to have is being able to play anywhere if somebody gets hurt uh, but I will say this Kyle Lancaster guy that uh, has been a part of the youth squad has got called up here at 19 years old he played in the uh, friendly game I want to say I'll have to look at the schedule. Because I want to say it was this Exeter game, but it might actually have been the Everton game. Let me take a look. Let's see the magical report. Uh, which, by the way, obviously you're going to look and see, wow, there's you know three losses with two draws. That sounds bad. Literally, everybody in that, you know, that we scheduled a friendly against was either in the championship as far as uh, with um, Middlesbrough, I want to say the rest were League 1 and League 2 teams, and then obviously Everton's under team. No, it was not this game. So it must have been the Everton game. Uh, he got a... So he was subbed in rather late. He plays on the right side here. He got the ball, intercepted around 
here, the halfway point. Took it all the way by himself from here all the way in to score. It was pretty remarkable, honestly. Somebody that I wouldn't like, I would, I don't know how you would say, like, not talented. Like, literally has three finishing, 12 first touch. Like, he had no business of making that. But somehow did it with rather ease. It was pretty crazy. Like, he looked like uh, an absolute savage out there for just a split, like, two minutes or whatever, however long it was, that entire clip. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's just kind of where we're at going into this game. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident, feeling pretty good about where we're standing right now. Oh, also, I think there's somebody else that we had signed that's hurt as well. Yes, uh, Connor Dixon, he's almost back to full health. Midfield guy just felt like we needed somebody to, to come kind of bounce out to the midfield as far as depth-wise, can dribble, can cross, can do a lot of good things. Uh, again, no, another guy that's just kind of not a, uh, a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type of deal where you're not really one-dimensional. You can kind of do it all. Uh, it's, it's just nice to have those types of guys as far as when you have on your, on your roster, on your depth, as far as guys that you can kind of plug and play anywhere. Nice to have. We don't have a lot of options, money-wise. Uh, we could take a look at the finances, I guess, before we go. We're already 10 minutes in. It's no big deal, since we only have this Notts County game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's surprising that we are even at 124000 because, obviously, usually we're not. But, yeah, the payroll is at a little under a million and a half. The transfer budget, though, is, is crazy still. We'll probably... Uh, I mean, we could definitely shrink that down as much as we can, because I really don't think we're going to get anybody else. So just kind of put the payroll at one, one, you know, 1. 1.6, and uh, just whenever we need to re-sign somebody or bring somebody in, we should be good to go to be able to keep them in, as far as maybe a staff signing or something as well. Because I really don't think we're going to bring anybody in uh, as far as transfer-wise. We're pretty... I think we're locked in on what I want to do. Uh, Ollie Dyson's the only guy that doesn't really have the fitness maybe to potentially compete the entire time. It looks like they got their little 5-3-2. God damn it. But uh, that's going to be tough to deal with. But I think we should be okay. Back three is always kind of tough like that with the diamond too. It's going to be tough. going to be tough to score. But it's also I think it's going to be tougher than the score as well. I think we are pretty locked in with what we want to do and how, we, how we're going to play. Uh, we were scoring against teams that were much better than us in just in the friendlies, which uh, it is super impressive, but also I think that shows you how it's not so as far as the, the skill gap between the, you know, the English leagues as far as from the leagues, you know, leagues one and two and the National League and even the, the champions – Ship as far as uh, I always want to say Champions League when I want to, but no, it's the Championship. Uh, just as far as even like that, from Championship teams to National League teams, sure the the gap should be a lot bigger than what it is. And normally I would say they're the favorites, but you could still give a, a good effort and maybe even pull out a draw against them. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, they're not a fan of Cook starting out there, which is weird because he's definitely like one of our best options. Home form's important to us, so let's start off with a win. Plus, we're starting off hot. We're at home. Mafuda's on the bench, which uh, Mafuda can either come in as a midfield guy or as somebody uh, as a central defender. He's kind of another guy that's a kind of jack, jack of all trades. But uh, as far as we'll see how Knott's County does, it's kind of interesting as far as uh, you know Wrexham and Knott's County still being here in Season 2, because obviously... As you have seen in the regular, real life, National League, definitely one of those two teams is going to be automatically promoted. And then the other one's probably going to win the playoffs, if I had to bet. Uh, let's see what Maxim's going to do. Oh, not shit. Just a uh, pretty brutal pass to start that off. Not great. That's kind of the one thing I was a little nervous about as far as having so many tough friendly matches as far as will the guys be ready to go come the opening game. But they are looking pretty solid here. If Mazir can have a good pass, he might even take it all the way. No, just took 
way too long to bring that in. I was hoping he was going to kick it back to the front of the net. Ooh, we got a hell of a free kick here. Bipus is not going to win that. We got to change our free kick too. I got to remember that. I changed our corners with our new squad, but I did not change the free kick. Might have been able to score had we had the right guy there. Oh my god, Idris. He sends it, but no one else is going after it. That's probably for the best. Oh, they're going. They're hanging on the touchline. That is for sure. That's a hell of a pass. One on one. See what Ethan Ross can do with it. Yeah, that's a great save. We get bailed out. Idris is going to send it. And they're just going to keep possession. Figured so, but hey, as long as we just stay in this game. Oh, another free kick. That gets hit by the wall. It's going to be a corner, which I am feeling very confident about our corners. Uh, you know, as far as Dooku and Sam are brilliant at being able to hit it in. Also, as far as Maxim's great with it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think who else. Can, uh, there's a couple of other guys that can really come in off of the... I think Cook, yeah, Cook's another guy, even though he didn't get it there. He's pretty solid with it as well. We just have it on mixed and... Whatever the uh, corner guy is feeling, we'll let him go with it. Oh, yeah, it's their free kick. Goes through. Oh, wow. I thought that went in. That was very, very close. I see FC Halifax is still running through teams. That's great. Just fucking great. Obviously, we're at the bottom of the table because most of the yeah, it starts off alphabetically, so as far as we kind of get the shit in the stick there, but hopefully. Oh, well, Dorking's coming back, looks like. At least it's 1 2. It's okay, he's already up 2. Oh, wow, 2 2 already in 27 minutes. Jesus. What a game that is. Ah, oh, we're doing pretty well as far as shots and shots on target. 3 for 2. I want to keep it balanced for now, because I just. Still, maybe a little too early to kind of see where we should play. See if Longden can win this. He did, but it's just a little too far out. But Mazir already is, is in fine form, looks like. But that, that was a great cross. And Longden's going to win that, you know, nine times out of ten, looks like. Because that was a very, very small fella that was on him. And, uh, yeah, looks like we're going to be positive coming out the second half. Because we are playing pretty well. Uh, as far as Dooku might get subbed off, we'll see. He's not really playing all that well. I want to keep Mazir out there and just kind of see see what happens. But yeah, we'll definitely be positive for this second half. I know that we probably shouldn't be doing that, but we've been the better team in that first half. I know they're starting off with the ball, so that's not a... Uh, Great thing for us, but man, they only have two shots. One of them on target. Like we're doing a good job at stopping a team like Knotts County, which we know is a uh, top-flight team in the National League. So you might as well try to get your points now before it's the end of the year, and you're kind of having to make up points. He just was a throw-in. A Mazir with the header. Holy shit! They hit the crossbar. That was really close. We're gonna keep possession here. Looks like as Bipus. Brings that down to Dooku. He is a little bit far out. That's a great job by Idris, though. He's setting it up. Oh, this damn Dalby! Oh, he missed. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Pipus might win it back. Oh, no. Joe Cook's got it. Good shit. Brilliant stuff. We're getting, getting some good looks. Getting some good looks already. Oh, Joe Cook, please win that. All right, way to go, Naya Kirby. Way to be there. Yes, yeah, good passes up front. Loving it. Loving it. Oh, boy. Longden. Hang on to it. There we go. Bipus going to have to make a tough pass. That's a smart pass, actually. That is going to have to go the opposite way. Dooku does not have the speed for that, but maybe a good pass here could really change things. Around it. It does. That's a great pass. Oh, my God. What a pass from Bipus. Too bad he's off sides. Oh, no, he wasn't. Wow. That was an incredible pass. Yeah, damn. Yeah, uh, you know, we'll take... Put Hurst on. Take Manny Dooku off. Uh, it sucks that Mazir's not really playing all that well. 
let's have uh well long didn't come over there let's have jaden smith come on and uh we'll just kind of hang tight now because we already made two subs with 56 minutes in the game but man look at the shots and on target seven to five brilliant stuff we're gonna be the better team that's for sure as long as we don't give up no bullshit goal because you know, just far as to leave three points on the table we should be good to go well it's a good chance that the boy longdon i lost it already but bypass is there hey we went back good shit good shit good shit good shit yeah, I think Ollie Dyson's going to be our next sub, and we'll just kind of see what happens. Ollie Dyson, now we're close to that. Interesting pass. We're there. Idris has been pretty great from what I've seen. I know he's only got a 6.6, .6, but he's had a lot of good, good looks. He's been dribbling very, very well, as you see there. Now, Jaden Smith. Good chance here to use that speed. Takes a shot. Oh, with, we got a lot of contacts. It's in. Thank God Alex Hurst puts it in. I don't know how the fuck that all happened, but... Oh, and it's offsides. Well, shit. There went that. That would have been nice. I thought for sure something fuckery was going to happen. There was a whole lot happening on that one, but... And we'll put Ed Worthington out there. He's not pleased about coming on. That's great. Well, let's encourage the boys. We, uh, we're we playing so good. We should at least have two goals by the XG. And uh, we, we were just unlucky. Oh, boy. Please stop that. Oh, stop it. Don't foul him, though. Oh, God. What a pass. Great block. Hey, way to go, Worthington. Way to throw yourself in there. Right from the rip. They shouldn't get this corner. We should have the bodies for it. Come on, Ethan Ross. Hang hang tight. Oh, God. No one's over there. Thank God he missed it. Whew. Jesus Christ. Well, worst case scenario, we only get one point. Best case scenario, of course, we actually get our goal. But we have rightfully won and earned. Uh, Sam doesn't win the header. We're going to get the possession back, though. But we'll see how Worthington, Worthington can do off this pass. That's a terrible pass. We are just giving up possession left and right. I know we're pressing pretty high there with our forwards in midfield. But, I mean, we are just giving away possession. But we're making it tough on them. Oh, gosh, please win this. Thank God Ross catches it. 75th minute. They only have two shots on target. We have been the better team by far. Maybe this throw-in can work. Now you're Kirby. That's a hell of a pass to Smith. I don't think Jane's going to hit this, but it's a good shot. He's just way over. Way over, unfortunately. Well, I think... Uh, yeah, just uh, the new guys, you know, they, uh, I would say as far as who played the best of the new guys, I would probably say uh, Idris did. Him and Cook played really well. Oh, God. Now oh, Idris is going to blow it here at the end. Oh, God, the Langstaff. What a fucking strike. Thank God Ethan Ross is the man to turn that away. Yeah, I mean, Jaden Smith hasn't been great since he came on. Longden was definitely better as the left. Once they had to play at the right, it just kind of wasn't the same. And uh, Dalby's had some good chances. He just kind of was uh, unlucky on one of the headers. I'll get in front of it. Good shit. Good shit. Now, let's see what Alex Hurst can do with it. Oh, God. There's a whole lot of white around them. Yeah, that was terrible. Wow. I mean, South End and Sergey has had a uh, hell of a game. Four to three. Spitty Moore, one of the new teams in the National League. Way to keep the wall. Ross is there. Good shit. 
I'd say momentum wise they definitely have had it for the last I would say ten odd minutes or so. Ever since that offsides call, oh please, please Wall, stand tall. Don't give up a late extra time goal. Come on. Oh, he's taking a sweet time. He's trying to null us. Trying to lull us right to sleep. Come on. Oregon has actually done really well. Uh, he should have probably started. He had a 6.8. Woo, boy. Ross turns it just like that. Brilliant stuff. Well. Oh, we got a corner? Or is that a throw-in? Yeah, that's a throw-in. Ball's going way over. Oh, no, it's a corner. Corner for the win? That'd be pretty magical. That would be pretty magical. What's Kirby thinking? He's got a lot of options. Far post looks pretty good to me, size-wise. Not really sure who that is, but... I went to the front post, and uh, that's going to be another corner. They might let us take this next corner, but I doubt it. This is going to be right at the 94th minute. I don't know if they're going to let us. It's on mix, so maybe he'll go with uh, somebody else besides right there in the middle. I doubt it. Boy, he's really taking a sweet time. Here we go. Yep, didn't work. Call it. Yep. Well, I mean, we were the better team. We just couldn't get a fucking goal. That, I mean, that pass... From Bypus to Hurst. Or no, not, not to, uh, Bypus to Manaduku, rather. Was incredible. And uh, that definitely should have scored. But it is what it is. And of course, they disallowed after the shenanigans. But I'd say both keepers earned their clean sheet. That is for sure. They had a lot of tough shots on them, especially theirs. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's the way she goes. This National League is super tough. We were fucking unlucky, but at least we got a point. It uh, just sucks that we also gave somebody else that's probably going to be at the top of the table a point as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, as far as I'm not really sure when you guys are going to see us next. Because I know we have a lot of games before we get into the FA Cup stuff. But really the main focus is this National League, of course. Uh, so yeah, we, I mean, we just uh, whenever you see us next time, hopefully we are a winning team. Hopefully we are still rocking and rolling. We should be. I'm very, very pleased with what we have done. As of late, we just got to get some goals. We just got to put in the back of the net, which is easier said than done, I guess. But uh, hopefully, Manny Dooku gets him a hat trick or something the next game and we turn everything around. That's all we can hope for. Uh, but yeah, oh, Dagon Red, hang on to win. Down a man. It's a tough win. Yeah, Wrexham wins 2 0. It's going to be tough. Wow, dorking. 4 to 2 on FC Halifax. How about that? Tough, tough, tough indeed. Yes. Uh, we will catch you guys next time.